Hello everyone, to Fletch 3004 here. Welcome back to Osiris New Dawn. I am back on Aziel and I am loaded for bear. I have tons of stuff on me. I actually probably need to put this on instead of that one. Um, I'm going to try to see if I can stay warmer here a little bit because now I have the heat sink instead of the cooling module. And I can also put on the thing to get the light to recharge my battery. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I am back here on Aziel, and there's a reason why I decided to come back here. There's a lot more flat place, and I wanted to try something. Now, we have a bit of these. I don't remember what's in these, to be perfectly honest. We haven't been back to here for a good long time. We don't have a barracks built. We can build one right there. We do have the fabricator. We don't have... Okay, there's that. I guess we do have the chemistry table. And here is the advanced fabricator. But as far as that goes, uh, we don't have a whole lot like we do over on Zero. That's where we've been spending most of our time. I think it'd be good to upgrade this place. And we do have a few things. You know, we have a rover and our GAV and our hover bike along with the spaceship. Now, as far as I know, we still cannot build the um, middle mouse wheel. Still cannot build the heavy class OAMU, or can we? Can we actually build that now? That would be interesting if we could because that would really help out a lot. Um, let's see what happens if we... Okay, coming soon. Never mind. I guess it, isn't, it still ain't in there. So, oops. My bad. I was hoping it would be in there, but it still says coming soon. Never mind. So, um, I'm planning on building those structures like I built on um, Zer, But I would actually like to build on more of a flat place so we can really see what we're doing. And I wanted to see if perhaps if we put in like some of these couplers like they have here, if I can actually put other things on there because I know the bed and all that stuff will only go in a in a, a barracks but I wonder if we could put other stuff in those like some of the stuff that we put on Zer. So I'm gonna get cracking on stuff see when I if I can get some stuff built what all I can build if I can build anything I think that would be a good thing to do we do have quite a bit of stuff on us I many made sure to get a lot of zirconium and I do believe that there is a zirnium here on this planet but I don't remember for 100% sure I'm gonna work on getting some stuff up off the ship the ship is full and I am full so I really need to transfer some stuff and get some stuff going I guess I had to make some water and different things like that so let me get stuff set up and I'll come back to you guys when I have a little bit of an idea of how I'm going to do this and we'll see about trying to get some of this stuff done. Alright, so I got quite a bit of this built. Here is the bottom floor. It's all paneled. I all have it facing the same way this time. Here are three windows and I actually had to put this one in first because these guys were not cooperating. They go to the middle here and flip around and everything else. And they just were not cooperating. So again, I had to put in the middle one first or, or either the wall, you know, but I put in this middle one. And then I put these in. And something to know is these guys will flip around. And when they come around to this side, there is a difference in how they line up. Because I think maybe it shifts up a little bit because the lines were off and I had to destroy this last one and rebuild it. At any rate, I got that done. I haven't built the whole thing yet because I am now to the part that I wanted to see if this is going to work. Let's go to F3. Let's go to Custom. Let's go to Industrial Wall Coupler. And let's put that guy in right there. Now, what I need to do is, okay, good. That's going to work both ways. F, let's go and build this guy. Alright, so I have a coupler on there. That was the main thing that I was looking for. And then I'm going to go to F2, actually F3 again. Let's go to structures. Now what I want to do, <coughs> excuse me.
excuse me, is come to here to this hallway and let's see if we could put a hallway in here. Cool, sweet. This is what I was looking for because I was thinking that if we could build like a hallway or something like that, you know, on, on here, that would be pretty cool and that would look pretty gnarly because then we can have at least a pressurized area. I don't know if we're going to be able to do like we did over there, but let's start with this. I think this is a good start. Now we're going to, of course, have to get more uh, steel and everything because we got to put in... Looks like iron and aluminum in four places, and then we'll be able to get oxygen. Even though we don't need the oxygen, we can get the oxygen. For one thing, this will provide a nice way for us to get from place to place, and then we can maybe put on a entry like this right here, this airlock. And I'm thinking maybe, I don't know. We have to see how this all works out, but... Uh, I'm hoping that that will work out that way. Let me just go ahead and see if I can put in a few of these guys. So let's do that. Okay. And this time I don't press F. I just use my tool here and I just click it and that builds that. There's only four pieces, but I'll have to go out looking for more aluminum already. I can tell you that. And I thought maybe if we can't build like a uh, entryway like we have over there, you know, the airlock, that maybe what I could do is have that industrial door or something and then we can look at doing something like that. Now I don't know. Come on, let me get in here, please. Okay, 100% pressure. So this is good oxygen. And to, when I come in here, up at the top of the screen, you see left off oxygen recovery safe zone, and when I come in, it's going to say entered oxygen recovery safe zone. So that's good. It's kind of a pain getting into this little thing, but I guess it works for whatever reason. It has to be that way. All right, so we got that done. Now I'm going to have to go out and find more aluminum and different things like that. But this is actually working. This is what I wanted to see. This was my main point for doing this. And if I can put on like a ceiling and stuff and maybe even put in a stairway. Like, I don't know, somewhere in here. Maybe even make this a little bit bigger over on here on this side or something and have a stairway going up and down that I can build a second floor. I just don't know if we're going to be able to put like a habitat on or whatever, but they were pretty tall on Zer and these ones aren't, you know, so tall, but it's because we, you know, they're just the, the height that they build. Now, as far as a barracks go, I really don't know anything about that. Let's go to F3 if, the, if that'll attach on there is what I mean. A barracks. That's going to be plastic. We just don't have the plastic right now. Um, lead. I did bring some lead. That's a lot of aluminum ingots. Lots of steel. A whopping lot of steel. We do have enough rubber. And copper ingots. I did bring out along a lot of copper. So we do have that. Whoops. Um, I don't have a lot of stuff in here, but I can make one more aluminum ingot. I do have a little bit of that left of some iron and aluminum. That's all that I have. I keep have to go out to get more. I do have 50 more aluminum on the sh or iron, I mean, on the ship. So I might have to go out and do something like that. Let me go out and do some searching. I'd like to find my light thing, but I, you know, the to charge up the battery, but I just don't know if I'm gonna have that here. I think it's on uh, Zer, which is what it is, I guess, whatever. We'll deal with that when I get that far. Let me make some copper here, and I'm gonna have to try to find some hydrogen maybe somewhere, see if I can do that. I don't think I'm gonna need a lot of this other stuff for the plastic, I'm definitely, nope, that's lead. Well, I guess I need the lead anyway. Let's get some carbon. Come here, carbon, where are you at? I know you're on here somewhere. So I thought I'd put a bunch of carbon on there unless I put it in the lockers already, which maybe I did. 
And we gotta build a few more things over here too if we're gonna have this be like our other one. And that's gonna take quite a while, I can tell you that much. Alright, there's carbon. Let's go and uh, let's cook up a bit of carbon. We'll do that. We do have some carbon ingots. I just don't remember how many. Um, I don't know if I put them in here. I do know we do have carbon though and that's the biggest thing. Because I did bring some with me and I had the ingots. But I don't know quite what I did with them. I guess I probably put them somewhere. Or maybe I didn't bring it with me because I knew I had plenty of carbon. Doesn't really matter. I can cook up these guys. Let's do that. Carbon, what are you? What? Did I not? Oh, I probably put them back in instead of taking them with me. I do that more often than not. Alright, let's take you. Thank you. Apparently I'm not keeping track of what I'm doing here. Alright, there's that going. Now, I'm not going to worry about the tungsten. I don't need that right now. I actually do have 19 steel and a lot of glass and I brought a lot of uh, sand with me so I can make more. Could probably build a few more pieces on here and just see. Because I'd like to see if we can do more stuff here. That would be pretty amazing. Let me get some more of these walls built. I'll come back. We'll check this out. We'll see if we can put a barracks on here if I can get that far. So um, hopefully I'll be talking to you guys here soon. One of the things that I found out about when I was making this is down here where the ground is just slightly higher, I could see the outline of the pieces underneath here, like you can see that line right there. I could see that out here for the pieces I had here. I did take them out. Now, wait a minute. That's panel floor there, okay. Yeah, I did take them out that's seven meters away so that one's right there um but i couldn't build on them they weren't attaching like they were to over here and that was one of the things that i wanted to bring to you guys' attention if you're you using this kind of stuff be careful if you build up on areas like this it'd be better for me to take things out this way take out all these walls and build this somewhere else you know on another end or something and then I could just have this as being like the entrance or whatever. The airlock does attach to the end of here, which I figured it would, but what I want to know is everything is going to work out the way I, that I need it to. There's just a couple of things that I want to know. Let's go into F3 and let's go to like furniture or something. I want to see if... Now that has to go into a barracks. I Okay, you know, pressurized structure to build furniture. Crates, pressurized, storage locker, pressurized, bin, pressurized. So I'm not going to be able to build those inside of here, I do not believe. And that's going to be one of the biggest problems that I can see here is it just isn't going to allow for us to do a lot of stuff that's gonna kind of stink when it comes to making a structure like this because there really is no point in having any of this stuff in here if you can't use it i don't know why this is in here to be perfectly honest if we're not going to be able to use it what's you know we can build stuff but we can't put anything in here. I don't know if I'll be able to pressurize it or not. I guess I can always try. So let me work on that a little bit. See if this will at all in any way, shape, or form pressurize with this here. And maybe like an, I don't know, airlock or something. I don't know if it will, but we can always give that a shot. Well, I did find the answer to my question. And I'll explain that here in a minute. So this is what I built. I got the glass ceilings right down the middle. I think that looks really cool. I decided to put in a door over here. So I have an industrial wall door and I think there's something out there waiting for me. Then of course I have this here and I don't know if maybe I need to have something on the end here like a... Uh, what the heck was that? Um habitat you know or a structure here to make 
things be pressurized because you would think with that right there it should pressurize but it has not pressurized so again for like the furniture and stuff I can't do it because it says it need to be in a pressurized structure so um, there is really no point to this stuff right now in the game maybe eventually they will get to that point but I am gonna try I'm gonna put on one more piece I'm gonna see if maybe by putting on an airlock if we can get this to pressurize maybe because if we can get this to pressurize that would be the best thing I think and that would help let me go and try I don't think it's going to but it's always worth a shot okay now let's just go oops, let's go to that let's go to this let's go see if we can get this to pressurize now oh I don't have this built do I um I guess I'm going to have to build these because I totally forgot I had to do these. So I can't open that door up until I get these guys built and I might be running out of materials again here soon but we'll see. I think they're just going to be these main center walls here that are going to be doing it and hopefully these ones will seal this up and then we can get in there but let's find out first okay do believe they have all been built the lights are on now they're not flashing okay pressurizing let's come into here let's come into here okay um Left oxygen recovery safe zone. Let's go to F3. Let's go to furniture and insufficient resources. Um, some steel. Basically, steel is what I'm really missing right now. You need to be in pressurized structure to build furniture. So again, even if I do that, I'm not able to build anything at all in here. I can build this. I don't know why I'd want to put my uh, excrement collector in here, but I could do that if I wanted to. Let's see what all else we can build in here that's not going to be something kind of ridiculous. Uh, well, I think that's about it because we just don't have any more steel now, do we? So, uh, yeah, there really is no point right now to this stuff, I mean, other than it looking really cool, I guess. That's about the only idea that I can think of that's going to do, because nothing else seems to work, and we're just out of stuff to do right now. We don't really have, I can make quite a bit more, you know, of this kind of stuff, and continue doing that, but... The only way I'm going to be able to build stuff is to come into here in these pressurized environments and begin building like the same stuff that I have out there in here, which I can always do. That's not that big of a deal because I probably should build like a biodome and all that stuff, but I'm going to have to find hydrogen and all that, and I'm really not going to be worried too much about that right now. 100% pressure, 0% oxygen. I don't know how you get the oxygen in areas like this. I have no idea, but it'd be pretty interesting to find out. I may go out looking, see what kind of gases I can find, because I do know there are gases out here. I just don't remember like where they are or anything. While we're here, let's go ahead and take on a little bugger brain here. Well, that was no big deal, huh? Not really. Well, I don't know what all else I'm going to be able to do. Like I said, I might go around, see if I can find some gases. There are some. I just don't remember where they are. So let me do a little bit of looking. I will come back here shortly and then I will let you guys know what all I have found. One thing that I might do is I may just go ahead and put on another coupler 
and see about maybe putting on a hallway or something maybe i'll put a couple in like over here or even like right in this area or something and build something off over here and go ahead and build like some other of these you know habitats or something i think that would look pretty cool off of there but as far as i know there is no way to pressurize this and so there's really no idea how to get pressure in here because if you can't do any of that stuff then you can't build anything and that's just kind of like an empty room is all that it is I guess a room with a view you might say the way I built it but uh, yeah there's no real point in having this stuff right here either this hallway even though it has oxygen and stuff and then this here there's just no reason for it because it isn't going to do any good right now anyway with the way that that is with no pressurization before we go i would like to see about at least doing a few things i mean i know i have built the thing i'm going to build before built them on zer but i think that'd be good things to build in areas over here too because we may just very well end up needing them let's go ahead and go to f3 let's go to furniture let's go and build ourselves a kitchen and maybe you know some of this other stuff i think this will be really good for us because we can't build it out there obviously and i don't really understand but whatever um let's put that right next there to that one let's build that the climate controller now if we need a water thing let's go to f3 let's see what that's gonna take there's the oxygenator and the kitchen water reclaimer um what are we missing how about some copper ingots wow that's 12 of them Hokey, jamokies, that thing's expensive. We can get that. That's not that big of a deal, though, in all actuality. We can get copper out there. We'll work on that next time, maybe, and we'll work on making a barracks. I wasn't able to find any gases. I know there are some here somewhere. I just don't know where. I'll probably go back to his, um, Proteus and get the gases from there. I can't put this out here because I need a barracks, and I know I can't put this I can put this in here. I thought I had to have a barracks to put that in. Huh. Okay, well, I would much rather actually put that in a barracks anyway with a shower and everything else. And I think that would probably be about the best thing. Um, we got the climate controller. Let's go ahead and put in a kitchen. Let's figure out a good place for that. That goes outside. That goes to the other area. No. Um probably might take out that wall see I can't even build there because it won't let me uh, let's go to F3 furniture and let's go back to the kitchen now it won't even let me build that there so uh, yeah we're just gonna have to kind of do it a different way let's go and put a kitchen over here let me see the climate controllers there this will go to the barracks and you always want to get a late night snack right right let's go and put that there so you guys know there really is no point in building that stuff i mean it's fine it looks good it's pretty you know whatever you want to say it has a lot of potential it just pointless for right now maybe they'll work on getting maybe some sort of thing to where this can be pressurized i was hoping this stuff here would pressurize it but it's not going to and there's really no point in having this stuff here but at least we got something built and i think it looks pretty cool i like the glass ceilings i think that looks pretty awesome even if i just kind of whip that up and stuff and i like the big windowed walls i really like those a lot because the ones on the uh habitats are okay they're nice you just can't see a lot with them i don't know if we can put any of these walls here 
like any even any of these curved walls in there on the habitat because as far as I know these are just straight walls because you know the habitat is not curved so everything is straight so we probably wouldn't be able to put curved, curved walls on there anyhow now as far as the barracks go I don't know if we can put curved walls on there either there's a possibility but I'm kind of doubting it just because of the way the game is well, you guys got to see a little bit of how things do work on here and that these things, the hallway and all that stuff will hook up. So if we actually wanted to, we could hook up habitats and that stuff and just have that be a room. But I'm just kind of not seeing a real reason to. But I did come up with a pretty decent design and I actually got it all sealed up and I think that's actually really cool. All right, everybody, I am DeFudge3004. I am back on Aziel. I'm probably going to go out and get some more aluminum and some other stuff. I do have quite a bit of hydrazine that I can use to get my rover filled up. And maybe I can look around a little bit, see if I can find some stuff. I have three hydrazines there, and I think I have a partial one. There's hydrogen in there. How do you like that? I just now saw that. So there is hydrogen here. That I have on me. There's actually three hydrogens, so I can actually make plastic. It's only what four hydrogens, I guess. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, I guess there's only three, but still, I can make enough uh, to make three pieces of plastic. That's not a lot. That's not going to help us. We really need a lot, lot of hydrogen. I guess maybe I could make six pieces, but. Um, as far as building the barracks since that takes 20 pieces and we just don't have any of that stuff on us right now there is no plastic because we use that for the entryway over there I could probably tear that out but I don't really see a need to this is Osiris New Dawn hopefully the new one will be coming out soon we still cannot build the mecca I wish we could that would be freaking awesome but it still says coming soon. I know one day they will get this done. Everybody's just kind of waiting for it. I could... Actually, let me see. There was something else that I could build. What was that that I could build in the furniture? The water reclaimer. Let's put in the water reclaimer real quick. That will save us a lot of water. And then we can use that for other stuff too. And then we'll just call this an episode. Because this is pretty interesting. But it wasn't as good as I was hoping or all the building wasn't as good as hoping it could be but you know that stuff does happen when you're doing these kind of games all right let's go to water reclaimer put that right next to the kitchen because you got to wash your hands and wash off the you know the fruits and all that kind of stuff we should build a biodome and I'm going to tell you that right now because that would be good for food because since we don't have a lot on here we have crabs and everything but we just don't have a lot of other stuff and we can get the crab meat and cook all that stuff up and we do have the kitchen and that would actually be really good for like you know because you can see all the crab food and the skeleopods do and everything is snakes do and all that and that's going to be pretty interesting we can actually work on something like that that would be pretty awesome but we're going to do that the next time or war the time after that whenever i do happen to get around to it and then i'll show you guys a bit of that stuff all right you guys have a great day thank you for joining me here and we will talk to you guys next time hopefully this will come out and we'll be able to start anew and figure some more stuff out you guys have a great day bye bye